Hey Madonna fans, welcome to the Madonna Everybody Fan Club channel. I'm your host, Mariam Ayub, and I have been running Madonna Everybody Fan Club since 1991. Here we like to talk about the latest news, collectibles, reviews, look-throughs, and memories, and we would love to have you join us. Feel free to give us a like and subscribe so you can get more great content from us. And let's get to today's topic. Happy anniversary, La Isla Bonita. Today we mark the 35th anniversary on February 25th, 1987 of the fifth and final single from the album True Blue, which would become one of Madonna's most successful singles and music videos. We will be looking at the history, trivia, stats, fans' memories, and live performances as we celebrate this iconic single. So enjoy this video and take a trip down memory lane with us to La Isla Bonita. Madonna fans and music fans alike love this single, which had its origins when Patrick Leonard and Bruce Gage, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, created an instrumental version that they gave to actually to Michael Jackson for his bad album. But Michael declined the song and ended up giving this song to Madonna, Patrick Leonard, and she put her own style on it with her own lyrics and it became the classic that we know today. She talked about the beautiful island, La Isla Bonita, and called it San Pedro. In the 2009 interview, Madonna said that it wasn't an actual island that she visited, but likely on the way to the studio, she saw an exit ramp for San Pedro in California and just went with it. So interesting to hear this trivia behind the song, but it has been so successful. It had charted pretty much everywhere in every country, including number one in the UK, her fourth number one, and her 11th top five single in the United States Billboard charts. This is huge for Madonna and was and continues to be a huge success for her as we will learn. The music video has enjoyed a ton of success on YouTube being her most successful and most viewed and watched video with over 500 million views. It's amazing when you consider that her more iconic videos like Vogue and Like a Prayer haven't gotten that close to popularity. So we can see that this is an enduring song in Madonna's library and catalog. The music video for La Isla Bonita came out a few weeks after the single dropped in March, and it was a masterpiece to say the least directed by Mary Lambert, who had also worked with Madonna on Like a Virgin, Like a Prayer, and Borderline. You can see with the use of color, especially in the dramatic scene with the red dress, as well as the light and shadows and religious iconography throughout the video, that it is one of those lasting and enduring videos that stays with you a long time after you have seen it. What do the fans remember about this song? Well, I'll tell you myself that it was one of my favorite videos in 1987. The first time I saw it on MTV, I just couldn't believe that moment when she appears in the red dress, with red being my favorite color, so that was just an added bonus. And I just thought it was so beautiful and so mysterious and so joyous at the end, just the ability for her to be able to dance in the streets and be free. It makes you feel happy and it makes you think and it's just a wonderful representation of the song. And other Madonna fans love this song and video too. New Jersey fan Rhiannon Webb told me that she was six years old when she first heard this song but remembers loving it and always wanting to dance whenever she heard this song and just have fun and enjoy that joy and moment the song would come on the radio. Another Madonna fan, Mark Giglietti, who hails from Connecticut, told us 
that when he heard the song, he thought it was so romantic. And it was different because it was not like the songs he had heard previously from the True Blue album. He also thought the video was OMG amazing. He said that when she turned around in that red and black dress, my heart just melted. Quotations from Mark here. And we agree, that was one of those moments that just stood out in the video that everyone can feel and just remember when they first saw it. Madonna has performed this song on seven different of her concert tours, making it one of her most performed songs of any in her catalog, starting off with the Who's That Girl tour in another amazing red dress which that performance was so incredible. I was able to go to this concert and see her come out in that dress and in Seattle, Washington. And it was just one of those moments, just like the video. And if you've watched Ciao Italia, you know what I mean by that. The dancing, just the recreation of the video on stage. It was incredible. Madonna also performed a beautiful acoustic version of the song on the Drown World Tour, which was such a huge fan favorite. I know when I was at the show in Oakland, everyone just roared with approval to hear this special song that took them all back to that beautiful island. And Madonna delivered with an amazing performance. Let's not forget her performance on the girly show which also was incredible wish I could have been at that show to see that but she really delivered with the dancing on that performance as well Madonna brought back the dance vibes for the confessions performance of La Isla Bonita and here's an exclusive picture that I took when I was on the catwalk in San Jose as she made her way down singing La Isla Bonita the backgrounds were gorgeous and just amazing for this performance. She would perform it again on the Sticky and Sweet Tour, as well uh, as on the Rebel Heart Tour and the most recent Madame X Tour. And she's also performed a version on Live Earth. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out on YouTube. Just an amazing song that everyone wants to hear and just be entranced by this classic if you aren't a member of Madonna Everybody Fan Club on Facebook, we have been enjoying celebrating La Isla Bonita's anniversary with a great banner cover photo put together by our admin, Guillaume Laviola. And it's just so great to come together as a community. We would love to have you there. We'll be sharing our memories tomorrow in the group, February 25th. 2022 35 years later so come and join us for that and uh, many other things going on in the group right now tell us about your memories of la isla bonita do you remember when you first heard this song from the album or on the radio do you remember when you first saw the video on mtv tell us what you remember in the comments and definitely thank you so much for watching this video and taking this trip down memory lane with us. We are so happy to be celebrating with you and definitely like and subscribe if you want more memories, news, and reviews and look throughs. We are here for you and we love to hear your feedback. Thank you and congratulations La Isla Bonita turning 35. We love this song. Thank you. Thank you once again for joining us for our topic today. And thank you for being a member of our Everybody Fan Club channel. Please subscribe, like, and if you are interested in more great content or you want to get involved in a real fan club full of great community members, you could join us on Facebook. Look us up at Madonna Everybody Fan Club. We have contests as well as fan profiles of the month and do a lot of great stuff in there and love to hear your feedback. So once again, thank you for joining us and we will have a new video up very soon.